Last week was bullish in the stock market. Let's take a look at some highlights. My favorite technical indicator, AT50, or the percentage of stocks trading above their 50-day moving averages, hit a five-month high and is in overbought territory for the fifth straight day. Very bullish. The S&P 500 closed above its May 2021 low for the first time in two months and looks ready for a breakout. The NASDAQ closed above its 200 DMA for the first time in a year and hit a four month high. It now can look towards hitting resistance at September 2020 high. The ETF of small caps or IWM also hit a four month high and looks ready to challenge its bear market line again. Now interestingly, the VIX did not break to new lows despite all the bullishness, so this is something to keep an eye on. Meta, or Meta Platforms, incredibly has snuck its way all the way back to its 200-day moving average, and this is after a massive collapse in October, an amazing recovery. Capital One Financial is important for its bullish confirmation of 200-day moving average breakout with a 9.0 post-earnings gain. And then we have Seagate Technology, which I had been eyeing because of its big dividend, but a 10.9% post-earnings surge meant that it resumed its parabolic move, and I can't buy into such things. On the flip side, Intel collapsed post-earnings. Although buyers picked it up off the lows, this stock looks like it's going to be stuck for a while. Now, C Limited, or SE, was a pandemic-era darling. I think it almost tripled or quadrupled. No, sorry, went up 10 times during that period. Now it finally looks ready to break out. And here is my favorite EV maker, Lucid Group, that got caught up in a swirl of buyout rumors on Friday. The stock almost doubled at its high point and settled in at a 43% gain. Hopefully this at least means a bottom is in, even if this move doesn't sustain for a while. So please come to drduru.com slash 122 to get more details and read more.